Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. But not sure what. <laughs> you think I screwed it up with somehow. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. He is a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. <laughs> and Oscar's here early, as you can see. But yeah, he's just on the pillow again. <laughs> oh. Okay, and yeah, welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker number 15, our stream with this, I believe. Uh, on that, uh, yesterday I, ma <laughs> I made a miscalculation. I, I said it was our 8th stream of Partisans 1941. It was actually our 7th. I tripped myself up with that because with the second YouTube channel where I cut things into well, smaller episodes, <clears throat> I used the uh, standard settings. Yeah, you you can set up things. You can set up standard settings for your videos that get uploaded, like tags, uh, title, and description, and such. I use that to well, not to have to copy and paste it into every single video. From yesterday, we ended up into eight you know, separate ones. Um, so yeah, and I had already set that up for seven. So when I checked there, I thought, oh right, I did seven last, so eight must be next. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can see it. <laughs> it does make sense. For I was wondering how the heck we had gotten so many episodes already. For I felt like we had only recently started. Wait, didn't we start to our first long stream of the game last week? I think so. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh bloody heck! Uh, yeah, I. There's so there's something I only noticed just today with this freaking game, and that's that here's our working space. What is the entire other? Re <laughs> what is everything else here for on this thing? It can't might all be, be the, storage. Might be the uh, living quarters and whatnot. Or I, I doubt that, since we seem to be the only uh, shipbreaker that works here, because all the other ones that we know of, at least, they work at the same time as us. So they have to be either on different rigs or... Yeah, this is something I noticed. It would have made more sense if there was another bay up here or something, but there isn't. So... Okay, yeah. Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. all of this for? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good question, but... I do remember, I do remember, we, we soon see that there are always other rings closer by us, so... Yeah. <laughs> and there could be so many more just in orbit around the freaking planet entirely. Okay. So unrest in poverty and a hostile climate makes us an unpopular destination for the modern solar <laughs> tourist. Good morning, uh. Saturday. Okay, they still haven't even bothered trying to ask for a name or such. Let's see. Yeah, we can't place our stuff since, well, the ship is freaking gone. Okay, so yeah, still unsure if that just means that we lost our opportunity or yeah, we'll just have to see. For now, though, uh, shall we continue on with this thing from which we can get 200 more links tokens or not links tokens mastery uh, points or do we move to a new I one see. of Let's finish that off, we also will get a free repair kit yeah but we already have like a, two dozens of those i think it's yeah. equipment yep yeah, one short of two dozen again i have a feeling like the kit per case is one of those things that sounds like it's good to have around. Mm. True, but we already have so many. Yeah. If, but we also if almost... we run short, we can just do smaller ships. Yeah, but we all going to stream a bit longer today, so that ship will, we will be able to do it uh, quickly. It, it okay. is almost done after all. Yeah, we'll be trying for three hours, not four today. Okay. Let's see, where yeah, did we leave off? For, like, four hours of the other game yesterday with Potsans. Time flew by very pleasantly. Didn't feel too short. Four hours of this. Oh, wait, did I see something there? Yeah, four hours of this I could see get a bit... Uh, dull? 
Yeah, maybe not that, but... Yeah. It could be... Uh, there are games that just long sessions work a lot better, and somewhere just don't. Okay. Destroy some aluminium with that, but I will. Uh, where's that other storage bin? There it is. Okay. Well, yeah, this game is mostly just relaxing, though too much of a too much of the same thing could get boring. But the yeah. Okay, that's that <laughs> that's that warp gate going off. I've never seen it do that. And we have seen it do it once, I believe. Yeah, but, but not, not sure if we saw it. Not sure if we saw it from here. That is. Yeah, but I don't recall not seeing the damn shock wave reaching us like that. Mm. I thought first we were about to have a significant event. Yeah. Okay. You over there? Actually. What the heck? Where are the other rigs? Where did that piece just go? Uh, the other rigs are... Well, there's one, oh, there. there's another two, another, there, there... What the... What is that? There seems to be a lot of smoke coming from it. Hmm. It's not like that. That's something else. Oh, wait, yeah, is... That, that's oh, over your head. I think that might be a ship constructor or the assembler or something. Because I think I see a ship in the middle there. Yeah, and also the... Didn't we lose that one last time? Yeah, that got, that got ejected. Okay. How did it end up here and how did it not just fly off into open space? Yeah, but... Yeah, I... If his thing, when that thing just rocketed out, before they went, well, towards the uh, station, that uh, little house icon we have, we usually go in and out. Yeah, they have. Maybe it bounced off of there onto that thing and somehow ended up stopping over there? I, I've got no idea. <laughs> That's probably as good as I guess. We, uh, we thought we probably just shot off, we passed away all of that, just yeah. gone. Okay. Let's strip off the last remaining valuables out of these things. There are some lights it, still in these, but they will. It bounced, it got where we found it now for... We, we were a bit concerned that we did shoot like we thought it did. It probably could have hit another ship. Yeah. In high velocity. Okay, you need to remove this thing. Okay, so need to burn off the connecting pieces. They'll start complaining at us for basically destroying what is like a few cents worth. Okay, hopefully this will also help a bit just cutting this thing apart. Okay. Let's see. Now, I'm curious to see where things will go with the story, because, yeah, very clearly people are not going to be taking this bullshit lying down. Oops. Yeah. I think I cut well, it a I bit do... more. But this story does, if you read me, do in a, in a way that I do feel like these are, people are unfairly treated, hence why I, this story does make me angry. It's not that this story is bad, I just get a bit... Att emotionally attached, if that's correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, something towards that line. Like, you, you do feel sympathy. Uh, sympathy. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> English role failed. Yeah. Sympathy is. Sympathy. There we go, yeah. Let's see. Nothing else of much value on that. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, it, it, must it's anything... far better to be angry that way than being angry over how badly written it is. For it's not badly written. Yeah. 
Okay, the only real bad thing you could say about the writing is that it's a lot of, from, I've heard that some people find it to be too on the nose, but if some anvils need to be dropped, to put it that way, in the form of a trope. And, yeah. well, as we've said multiple times already, there are people who actively are trying to, well, make you turn society towards something like this again, where people are basically slaves for corporations. Yeah. Okay. It's like, who we can get rid of. Like, there are many systems I could see work well. Probably is I don't think we are ready for those systems. Like, let's say... Let's say your account that is given to you by the government. Yeah. So it's a secure, you know, I can hack you, you only you can use it. You're basically your own login key, literally, in a way, DNA and all. Yeah. But for that to work, you need a government that you can bloody trust. Yeah. So there's a lot of those things like, oh, that could be a good idea. Sadly, we don't live in a society that would work too well. Could be quickly misused in other ways. Like we have, we have seen tropes where they put a system that could in theory work if not for a corrupt government. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And that's just an example. Nope. I mean, Wait. sometimes think how to if the, uh, how things could make easy for everyone, but they would realize, yeah, we are not there yet. Yeah, sadly, a big part of that is just get yeah, yeah, companies and corporations uh, the way things are right now are more profitable than if something like that were to get introduced. Like just just look at taxes in uh, America and such. There's whole you know, there's whole corporations who are set up for well, calculating your taxes for you at an extreme cost, of course, or absurd amount of cost in comparison for how much uh, how much work it actually is since well the government freaking knows how much you owe them it's just that through lobbying of uh, the people running those companies that they don't actually freaking tell you like, for comparison over here in the Netherlands we did when it's tax season we just well we just go on to a website of the governments with a secure login they'll ask some questions like uh, did you get married did you uh, get children yada 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 that sort of stuff and you just most of the time since most unless something big like that has changed you can just click through it do make sure that you <laughs> double check stuff like that of course and yeah beyond that they, they'll just tell you okay uh, you owe us this much and this uh, such and such and yeah then you can just send it over i believe it, it is getting to that time again and i <laughs> i don't have much to do with taxes so i could be making a few mistakes there but yeah I, it doesn't cost me a fucking thing to have someone else run the calculations for me and such yeah but Currently, I do feel like the EU, like EU, has been doing some blunders, but they are trying at least to do something good. They're trying to make sure companies don't get too much power. Which is probably why yeah. right, they've been quite on the fruit on Apple, Microsoft, and a few others. Yeah. Okay, a bit of circuitry. Somehow didn't get yeeted out. Uh. Okay. If I remember right, EU recently forced Apple to allow people to buy new cables and batteries for the phones without yeah. having to buy it only for Apple. Yep. Uh, do you want to know Apple's excuse for the cable, a charging cable for the Apple phone? What was it then? Probably something to hardly good enough. They want to protect the customers from a fire hazard. Uh, always such an excuse, uh, excuse like that instead of just admitting we just wanted their money. If if corporations were even half the time just freaking plain you know, honest with that, I'd have more respect for them. But because they always need to couch it in some sort of excuse, I just 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I do think that all good companies that do want to be more fair to the customers and all that. Yeah, which typically they're only the smaller ones. Yeah. Probably when they're the smaller ones, we're all getting bigger. They can get crushed because there's so much bullshit going on with the other companies. They just outcompete them or do something else. It, it actually reminds the, me uh, the good ones from rising up the higher. Yeah, and typically at some point or another, someone in management gets put in who is just there for the money, and yeah, and that's that ends too. up rising through the ranks, uh, hiring more people who only care about the money, and then just you can see the spiral happening. Happening. Yeah, and for so far, I heard people do all crazy stream steam a lot for many things. But one of the things I have heard that many people are extremely concerned with when it comes to Steam, I'm using Steam as an example here, yeah. is when the current head leader of Steam... Yeah, when they the leave, leader. who is going to replace them and are, are they going to be an asshole or not? Oh, that's the thing. So far, it seems to be leaning towards him giving it over to his son. Oh, that's never a good idea. Like, it can be good if you've been raising the son well and they understand what the parent wanted, but in this case, it could be a bad thing, yes. For so far, people are very skeptical if this uh, his son really has the mind for this, where he might not even understand it well. This would be weird, considering he's the son of the, the owner of Steam. Yeah. But also, if they are money greedy, then uh, yeah, that could go very bad to Steam. And let's be honest, Steam is one of those things that almost everyone uses. Yeah, it is nearly a, mon a monopoly. Yeah. Most people, uh. it has. But they have been doing so well, but problem is, due to that, it can also, again, when the leader goes away, someone new in charge. Yeah. Big bad can happen. Yeah. Did you ever... Did you see the uh, video I put up on the Discord recently on the vids uh, area? Because... <laughs> That is basically what happened with the biggest uh, second-hand uh, car company in Japan. Like oh. the, the CEO uh, hired his son to be basically second-in-command, and yeah, fucker just committed massive amounts of fraud. Like, to the point that it's practically... Just, to the point that it's just comical, almost, if it weren't to the fact that, well... <laughs> so many freaking people just got fucked over by one asshole. Who yeah, basi who's like basically only uh, real credits or accomplishments was being born the son of someone who was a lot smarter and more honorable than him. Uh, yeah, that feels like the parents should have been teaching the son a bit more, but then again. It's not just simply teaching. For some part of times, yeah, sometimes it's just teach it, person. the personality and such. Like you can yeah. you can teach a dog to do a certain trick all you want. If they just don't want to, they won't. Yeah. Are you? And I will say this: if you, if if I see you, miss a successor, they can do the children, but they need to be sure. Investigate that the children. Or either want, or most definitely want to, but also have the what it takes to do it well. Yeah, that they are just plain competent. Because you, you see that with a lot of uh, rich and powerful families, that it's very clear that the only reason the children are even alive is because their parents are rich. Like, I think yeah. there was a story some while back about the daughter of Lionel Richie, and apparently she is a fucking brat of the highest degree. Ugh. I'm not surprised. It's I mean, it also nine. does give me when... Yep. <clears throat> 
However, here's the thing. The bigger the company, the more scary it gets when the, it goes real downhill with something like... Again, imagine if Microsoft completely goes under. Yeah. I don't mean just going back, I mean completely under. Yeah, there's not because just the fact that it get then it's just not the fact that a company is going under, it's also the fact that a good part of the economy runs on stuff that they do and such. Yeah, they're the most selling computer company that is. Some of us have been slowly getting up while Microsoft is going down. It is such a very slow pace. But it's still a problem since... Yeah. Yeah, just, just imagine, like... Uh, I, I, I can't really imagine how much problems it would mean for... It could just mean... Worst case scenario, a lot of people lose the email, the computers soon stop school to work... Yeah, I don't think it would collapse that quickly or such, but it would require a lot of work to, well, keep things functional and ensure that they're, well, functional replacements. There was also a thing with that, uh, <clears throat> with that car company. It was called Big Motor, though with Japanese pronunciation, it was more Big Moto. And yeah, th they were the le they were the biggest in uh, used car sales and repairs. And yeah, once it became clear just how much fraud there was happening, they sort of uh, investigators started looking at their rivals and such as well and it turns out all of the all of the three biggest in the field were committing massive amounts of fraud so uh, yeah and I, it, 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 that's the thing why i feel like worry if when i be complete like that's why i say that people could lose their emails if if microsoft mm -hmm. as an example if as an example i'm not saying it's gonna happen but except if it goes completely under to, to corruption or whatever, and depending on how they handle it, especially if they handle it the worst way possible, people could lose. Yeah, so uh, freaking emails, much. Emails, information, cloud, name it. And that's the worst case scenario if they completely drop the ball. Yeah. Platinum seal rank now, huh? Nice, mm -hmm. but yeah, because since Microsoft is so big, it, imagine the chaos. It'd be utter chaos uh, for everyone. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish really? you a happy and productive day. Where is pizza? <laughs> I feel like they would have wanted to see that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's see how you stuff... see what I'm saying. If yeah. someone completely drops the ball, like Microsoft again, Microsoft, if they go under so bad, they, how much cash would it be for a lot of Millions. companies? And then, then there would just be the knock-on effect, just, not just the company itself, but the knock-on effect on other companies who would need to suddenly change out their entire operating systems and such. It's not only that, companies and government. Uh, Groups and all that for this. I mean, so using uh, the hmm. those pieces like I know. I know people say have you using the film. It, they are too big to fall. I agree. Yeah. Say that's a lie. <laughs> the, especially companies that are quote unquote too big to fail will fail because they specifically will overlook things that will well would cause major issues. Yeah, and I would say this. Here's the problem: the bigger they are. And when they fall, depending on how hard they fall, the more uh, disastrous it would be for everyone. <laughs> Is Lynx an acronym? No. Also, I'm picking this thing just because it's different. It's a military-like ship. There's my team. Hope you're all rested and ready. Let's push our output even higher today. Identify, quantify, Solidify. Yeah? Bounce that thing off of. Good man, Kaido. See you soon. 
some real progress with you, bud. Thanks. You too, 52. Nice work out there. Now, Kirazan, for someone who's been at this for so long, I expect more from you. Oh, you do, huh? Why don't you come on down and give me some pointers in person? Um, how about you can the attitude and do your job? Uh, come again? Nothing, sir. Now he's trying to play everyone against each other by basically picking winners and losers. Trying to get everyone to, well, fight yeah. for the top positions. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah and this is why I have been nervous about it. For the many things nervous about. Like, it's a good story, but uh, it does also get under your skin. Not for it being bad written, just... Characters you love to hate, simply put. I'm more of, I, I, I feel sorry for people in this universe. Yeah. Let's see. And as we said, I've uh, said this so many times, it is very on the nose and people have, uh, as Ian said, people have been trying to do this in real life. Uh. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, not to just keep on harping on just how terrible companies can be, but there's been, like, two... If there's one big company recently that shows that if you deregulate them, it's going to cause shit, uh, it would be Boeing, because apparently more and more issues have been coming up with their newer designs, and just more and more accidents, because, well, they... <laughs> regulatory services just aren't... Okay, this is new. Just aren't uh, being funded enough to keep an eye on them. Which, well, leads to them cutting corners, and cutting corners in aircrafts. Well, that's just going to crash everything. Yeah. Well, uh, even, uh, even Amazon is guilty of something like that. Or, or more of... They've done a lot of shady things to make sure people don't unionize. Yeah. Like, Including traffic lights. I'm not kidding. They're yeah. apparently changed traffic lights to make sure those who handle pamphlets are unable to give pamphlets to uh, people who stand in line uh, waiting for the light to turn on. Uh, I think there was Is also it... something recently with. I don't know if it was Amazon or another big company, but yeah, union busting, if that's, if a company is doing that, then it's very obviously clear that you should be unionizing, specifically because they are just screwing around with things so much. Like, basically, the more a company spends on union busting, the more obvious it is that uh, there should be a union. Yeah, but <clears throat> also means they are wasting money, in a way, yeah. like... Uh, and that's what, Wait, did it break? Uh, there's no. apparently another problem, like, more and more companies are needing more workers, but they... are not willing to pay them. Well, they're, they're paid or able to find percent. them, even. And apparently many people are taking double and triple jobs. Yeah, like, because companies are just not paying them, uh, <clears throat> are just not paying them salaries of which, from, you know, that people can live off of. Yeah, when the people they temporarily hire those freelancers, probably is sure freelancers get more money, but that money go goes to their own dental and all that. Uh, like any insurance you will usually get from company, freelancers don't get at all. Yeah. So yeah, you may think a freelancer get more money. Probably much of that money will go to bills and uh, many other insurances they should otherwise have gotten from the job. Yeah. So... Yeah. Dude. All right, I should have pulled that thing off the wall first, but I will. But also Just the problem is, you know, is... Let's be honest, you, you, you may not always have someone... Uh, ready to hire you uh, as a freelancer. Yeah. But there's a lot of risk in that as well. Uh, hiring freelance is also pretty expensive from what I've personally heard and such. Like, you need to... 
<clears throat> you either need to run background checks and such to ensure that people aren't like uh well known for causing shit. like if <laughs> if it turns out that some of you are going to hire for like a financial job turns out to be a convicted uh fraudster and such then you're definitely not going to hire them and if you don't do checks like that which can be pretty expensive i believe and if you then find out that you've hired a fraudster well then you're in all sorts of different shit because then you need to run all of your numbers again. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> yeah. Now, there I, you I are. I feel like, again, there are too many people to, in some countries, there are too few people to fill out the work demand. But still, I feel there are too many people, too many greedy. Like. Oops. Yeah, th th there's no new balance. Yeah. yeah. Okay, accidentally destroyed a little bit more there, but it will. Uh, he's for hoping for the, the future will get better. Yeah. Or the, people are trying. Yeah, there are there are uh, activists and politicians who are trying to make things better. It's just that many of the old guards well, actively do not want things to change, but a uh, bit of a grim bit with this, but luckily those are actively dying out, if not politically, then actually physically and such. Yeah. yeah not to wish death on anyone, but yeah, people who have basically been in politics since uh, the 20s, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are not going to be in touch with how things are, like, a hundred years later. And that's, that is exaggerating a bit, but, yeah, there are people who have been in politics since, like, the 60s or 50s. By the 20s, you mean 1920s? Yeah. For, I just, I just remember, we, we sort of are in the a new 20s, if you think about yep. it. <laughs> Okay, the 2020s, the decade of hindsight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. So far, oh, right, I this forgot to decompress new that. 2024 has been too chaotic. I haven't seen a hold my beer moment. <laughs> like with the other years and uh, 2019. Yeah. Okay, yeah, things are slowly but surely uh, improving as much as we maybe doom speak sometimes here. But yeah, things but simply put, things yeah, things are generally still better than they were like a few centuries ago because, well, for first parts, no freaking black plague, which wiped out like what one to two thirds of the European population. Yeah. Uh. I, I know that some people have said that it has had some good effects from that, but there was more. They put it up as only good thing that happened from Black Plague was in a more. Uh. By an balance in biodiversity or something like that. Like. I find it a bit doubtful. I guess in case of uh, avoiding over reduced uh, a but was considered then overpopulation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have much more overpopulation than we had back then. It, yeah. More likely that uh, it's much more likely that the Black Plague just shrank the gene pool by a freaking ton. Yeah, there also that problem. Dang uh, it. Rose is probably good at that as well. Okay. But yeah, nowadays we have more advanced way to do farming and such, unlike they had back then. So there's a different level uh, of population. Like, in medieval times, when the Black Plague hit, there was a overpopulation. Moreover, they, they did not have the methods to sustain a certain population group with what the technology they had back then. Mm. So there's a bit that, like... Uh, I think we can agree, like, let's take how many people we have today, 
but uh, give them the same uh, techno technological level as the medieval ages. Yeah, then you would have starvation pretty much globally. Yeah, now you see where uh, Meta, they, you know, that Black Plague did sort of help. Yeah, uh, still again, would not say sort that. sort of. It's not a proper, it saved humanity, it did not do that, it did not do that. He only solved a small problem and created other problems. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure that pe yeah, that's a good yeah, a good part of the uh, casualties from the Black Plague were through famine because there were just no people work, you know, who could work the fields and such. Yeah. Mm. Let's get rid of the shell mostly. Otherwards, they did have... Uh... A bit of struggle to make sure there were enough people to work on the farms afterwards. That's... Again, I'm not saying the Black Blade saved humanity. So bloody did not. It's more of they so fixed one problem and created new ones. Yeah, which is often what happens. Just look at Australia and their rabbit problem. Wait, that's still going on. Not sure if it is still going on as much, but yeah, basically just an example of uh, trying to solve, a, basically the idea of trying to solve something with another thing without actively th thinking through what, well, the thing B would do. Yeah. Uh, mm. I I will repeat, I'm not saving, say, not praising the Black Plague, I'm not doing that, you're saying there has been some YouTubers said that it did some minor benefit. Oh, accent. that Do wasn't cost it's... a bit. Yeah, even I uh, even I listened to that video it was bloody years ago, I just feel like, okay, they are sort of right, but I would not, I was kind of screaming at like, they only sort of right. So Whatever basically that meme, uh, they're out of line, but they're not wrong. Yeah, like it did solve that issue, but they did new ones instead as well, like... I get it. You need to really squint at it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now what was I going to say? Oh, right. Uh, since, since the topic of fertilizer and such came out uh, up, uh, a bit of a quote-unquote, uh, I guess not, hmm, it's a complicated matter, but the same person, uh, or one of the same people who um, made the breakthrough that led to modern fertilizers being, well, a thing now, uh, also uh, was basically the father of chemical warfare. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, we recall that. So, yeah. There are definitely some things that are a lot more gray than black and white. Yeah. Is there anything of value on that? Oh. And I, I, I will probably still classify the Black Plague as a disaster. Yeah. Like. A whole ocean of black and amidst it like a few dots of white. Yeah. Oh, hmm. uh, okay. Enough we okay. Hmm. And also I guess also it depends on point of view. Like is it tragedy that the dinosaurs died out? Most of them. But if they hadn't, then uh, Yeah, we wouldn't be around. Yeah. And I feel like, oh wait, I think I remember right. I think the one who made the Black Plague video also mentioned that if it didn't, had not happened, there would be a po worse population issue. But I will mm. call it that a guesswork. Yeah. When th with things that happened so far back, uh, basically, it's, it's one of those things where. I, there's a lot of uh, alternate history channels and such basically just 
uh, throw up their hands at some point because past a certain po time point it is impossible to account for other possible changes like what if uh, World War One had ne what if uh, Franz Ferdinand had never been killed and World War One had never started on X and Y and there's just as much chance that something else would have sparked the very same conflict just slightly different oh you mean like the red alert games yeah <sighs> uh, for those who don't know, the way the Einstein in Red Alert went back in time and uh, killed yeah. a certain person who would start at World War II. Yeah, it wasn't even specifically uh, that he went to kill him, I think. I think he just went to uh, shake his hand or something. I'm not, not sure. I don't remember if he intentionally went to kill him or something through he went Temple to, of Sanagans. He went there to stop him, okay. and uh, when he shook his hand, uh, uh, that uh, dictator um, basically poofed out of time. I'm trying to be, uh, use some proper words here. What you, what literally happened? You s uh, turned to dust very much. Yeah, from what I remember, he basically just got deleted from the timeline from there on or such. And yeah. Yeah, when he comes back, he finds out, oh, instead of <laughs> instead of uh, the Germans, uh, now it's the war between, uh, now it's a war with uh, the Soviets. Yeah, and they only delayed the war a few, to a few years uh, later. Yeah, so yeah, the for people... Chaos theory, uh, just, just too many things... Uh, too many possible possibilities to, well, do any sort of future predictions and such. Indeed. But I do, I do enjoy watching alternative history at times. For it, it, it is interesting. Yeah. But yeah, one does need to remember how not easy of a topic it is. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of sci-fi stuff that have, like, have one thing change and suddenly, uh, the entire, and suddenly Starfleet has gone completely authoritarian. That sort of stuff, uh, yeah, that, that sort of stuff is mostly for entertainment, it says, because, well, nothing like, it's, for all we know, someone uh, important to some, to later, <clears throat> The latest circumstances might have just have slipped in the bathroom and broken their neck on the uh, on something in between. Mm. Uh. So it is fun to think about, but yeah, mostly for fiction and such. Yeah. And so just how freaking thin these mattresses are. I remember in a previous. Uh, version of the game when it wasn't fully released yet. I'm pretty sure these were at least thick as normal mattresses. Wait, they get money for burning a mattress? Yeah. What? There. Are they, are they, I get we get money for smelting aluminium and such, but where the heck we get money for burning a mattress? Like, you burned a mattress. It's gone. Yeah, we probably, Nothing uh, reusable <laughs> comes from smelting a mattress. I'm pretty sure it, it might just be someone sending us a bonus for thanks for getting rid of that. That spares me the work of having to try and clean that shit for resale. And as someone who has worked in resale, you don't want to know what the sort of stuff that some people bring in asking, uh, can I sell this? Or can I? Can you sell this and such? Uh, resale a second-hand store. Probably some difference. It's not, not like a pawn shop or such. Hmm. But uh, yeah. Yeah. It, again, I think pawn shops are probably illegal in Europe. Mm, yeah, probably. I don't know if they really exist here in the Netherlands, at least. I never really hear about pawn shops in Europe. 
or at least most of Europe that I've heard of. So it could be that they are somewhere or that they're just called secondhand stores here. Uh, no, hmm. secondhand store is something else. For us, here's a thing for our stand from pawn shops. You can sell an item there, but you can also put in, uh, like, let's say you need money to pay rent. Yeah, that you can basically leave an item as collateral, and if you uh, if you can pay it back within a certain amount of time, that you will get your item back. If you can't, then it will be so it will become property of the shop, and then <clears throat> be sellable by them. Something like that. Correct. Correct. Right. And this is probably why we don't have it here for. But in USA there are strict laws about it. Yeah, to make even sure then you often hear abused. cases of just pawn shops basically acting as fences. Indeed. As well. Uh, oh, are these what I think they are? As well, they are very strict on what they do with wit and what they sell. They want to make sure you don't sell them something, uh, give them something that's fake. And many things, especially not something that's hazardous. Okay. But the, 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 it is also a lot of strict things that the, the pawn shop is not allowed to sell something they don't allow to sell. This has happened. Yeah, yeah, the thing with stuff like that is you... that regulators need to be, well, need to be keeping an eye on stuff like that. And if there's not enough regulators to keep an eye on enough of the shops, then yeah, they're going to do shit that they can get away with. Indeed, but the problem is that we also lose a lot of license. Like, I feel like I saw, yeah, I saw a clip of some woman walking to, I think it was a pawn store or something. But some woman went in and wanted to sell her ex boyfriend's Xbox. Okay, that's technically not her possession, so yes. Yeah, the, the, the owner said that I cannot buy this and I will not buy this, but this is not yours. And she kept ordering him to just uh, pay her for it, but he, said, he just kept saying no. This he, okay. had, this he should do. For again. She, she said, she, yeah, she was honest, she said it was her ex-boyfriend's. Okay. But uh, yeah, he was good about, he was a good owner to say that, yeah, I'm not allowed to buy that from you, but that's not yours. And that it is strict, but if he did buy it, regardless of that, and even he, especially if he knew after saying that... Yeah, that like, could be seen as possessing uh, stolen objects. Exactly. It's even if you mean... don't know if something is uh, stolen, you can still be tried for possession of it. Yeah, but if you knew it was stolen... Yeah. Worse. Yeah, but, but the... Okay, what, what just happened there? Fire I think fuel tank. I think we forgot but the fuel pipe. It, I turned off the fuel, so that shouldn't be happening. Then, then again, the the fuel tanks are... Okay, somehow they... Okay. Was I like... Oh, okay, now I'm confused. The fuel tanks are right there. But the fuel was shut off, so... Huh? Yeah, the, the, these quasar thrusters are a pain in the ass, to put it simply yeah. that way. We've been talking a lot about, about things that we probably got distracted. Yeah, I, I was trying to focus more with this, but yeah, I thought... We, I've died a few times by crushing somehow when these things split apart, so I don't know why the hell the pipelines just... The, the fuel tanks just blew up at the end there. Especially but, since uh, I t should have turned off the fuel at the end there. Yeah, they, they have some sliced blown up uh, pipes there. So they were probably the ones that they did the exploding. Hmm. Okay. That uh, is, yeah, it is going in the right direction. Don't want to lose all of that into the furnace. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd read a bit of... Uh, tip for or a few tips for dealing with these quasar things and one of them was to well oh, 
line or put a tether on the thruster itself before you actually cut it loose so you don't have to wriggle around it. And the other thing was what I was attempting with the, well, <laughs> with the coolant tank canister and I just realized I forgot to remove those from that. Oh well. There. Yeah, I, I tried to... Oh, it's already damaged. It is lucky for us then, I guess. Because we can use these to freeze the pipes. Ooh. 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 Bye bye. <laughs> okay. I should have expected that it would take off like a rocket like that. But at least we have this one here. Oh yeah, basically... Uh, before I do that though... Let me do this so I don't have to... Well, wriggle around it. Now, what people advise to do... With these is to well, give them a whack then freeze the pipes around the thruster okay that did not go as wanted because now things further in are blowing up and that thing almost hit me in the face yeah okay get going you then get going me. Okay. There we go. Flush the fuel. That should get all of the fuel out of the pipes. Okay. And there we go. Now the fuel is safe. Still no... I guess one of the flames got through fast enough that it did detonate it before I managed to flush it. Or maybe it just janked around and hit something, then exploded. Because the physics on these things are a little bit iffy still. Mm. Uh, oh yeah. Just think about the black death. Makes me just pray we don't have another epidemic. Yeah. Uh, sadly, the stuff like that, the lessons are typically only learned when they are written in blood. Like, just look yeah. at every, like, pretty much every plane crash uh, ever. Typically, they are caused, or from what I know, most are caused by just companies pulling bullshit. Cutting corners and such. Ugh. Let's try and flip that around. Okay. There. Yeah. Right. Again, as I said before, I don't defend the Black Death. I don't know who wish you there was this, or they mentioned that it had a minor benefit. But even knowing that little benefit, I feel like. Not worth Game it. Tragedy. Uh, what do you say? It, that it were, even with that slight benefit, it was not worth it to call it any sort of positive. Yeah, like yeah, even even I I, I get what they mean, but even I I, I agree. I, I will not call it a positive, really. I, I will call, I will be extremely hesitant about that. Would probably be clo better to say that uh, the slight positives turned it from a negative 100 to a negative uh, 99. Yeah, something like that. Like. Uh, like, sure, it prevented another problem from coming up, but still. We talk about people's lives here. Yeah. This makes it harder to agree with what they said. Like, I know what they mean, just... Uh, again, lives, it feels so... Uh, yeah, 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 you get what I'm saying, and uh, why I... I don't know how I feel mm. about it, probably. Yeah. Okay, now let's get uh, this out. <clears throat> and... Oop. Yeah, okay, I just, the thermal plate is stuck on the back of that, but that's worth more. 
I just hope I no one draws a video like that from the the pandemic we had. For mm. uh, that would be so in poor taste. Yeah, like there has been some positives that will more come forward, not from the disease itself, but the response to it. Like people learning more about social distancing, uh, other ways to uh, improve hygiene and such, to prevent more well, transmission. Yeah, in that way, I can agree with you. So yeah, it's that it's less that the, the, th the thing in itself was any sort of positive, but more the re the reaction to it and such. And again, there's uh, still yeah, plenty uh, of people who deny that it, the disease is even a thing. Oh uh, yeah, there's always those people. But yeah, I will agree the adaptive response to it was a good thing. Mm. But uh, yeah, again, like, there, there, there are so many things. Like if something had it had happened, something else would not have happened. That it was good. That led to some be benefits. But ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's hard not to not to feel depressive at the moment, sometimes. Uh, Okay, time to cut this thing loose. Nope, still connected. Okay. Actually, I think it might be better to, yeah, describe things like that. Like, no, the car, the thing itself could not be called a positive in any case. Uh, but the response and lessons learned from it, those could, uh, those can be called positives. Yeah, so makes you wonder what the heck they learned from the Black Death. I don't, I'm not sure if they learned too much from that. Hmm. They, they, did, they didn't really have the technology to benefit from it. They just instead like, okay, we no longer have too many people. Now we need more people to uh, field, uh, man the farms. Yeah, it could be that uh, the medicine of the time learned some things from that. Because, well, anyone who knows anything about that era knows that the medicine was more like mythology. Yeah, the, the pen or the county, yeah, some had the better medicine stuck. than others. Mm. Uh. Okay. Oop, I almost but, forgot yeah, about you. Obviously, this for the final time. I am not defending the Black Death. I only inform me what I heard from another YouTuber, what they said, and I feel like I'm kind of struggling with it. Okay. And yeah, I picked this. I picked this ship more out of the curiosity of it being well, see or seeming like a military scout vessel, which. I guess it still was. Okay. Yeah. So, I'd be surprised if they actually have proper military ships we to deal with too. Actually. Yeah. Now I just get concerned. Would you need a lot of additional trains to salvage a military heavily armed ship i presume that ships like that would get pre-picked clear of any any military material and such but yeah you would need extra training and such but maybe that could be a thing for shipbreaker too to uh, hmm. deal with the uh, the dangers of disarming a ship yeah. Oh dear. Processing valuable deposit. Mm. It's just a little thing. Let's see. Some last bits of scrap. Material deposited. 
And yeah, once that's gone through, we're done here. Okay. Yeah, that, that's some, that, this is something we probably should do a few times as well every now and then. Just pick a, a smaller ship that looks more interesting than a uh, valuable. Okay, that's yeah, about everything. Yeah, it, it does go faster to deal with them as well. And there. Hmm. It was like, okay, half an hour plus a bit extra. How much do we get from that? Okay, almost 500 points. Still a... Yeah, still a good amount. <laughs> Okay. Now, are we going to get any more reasons to hate Hal? <clears throat> Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Okay. Nothing new there. Nothing new here. Phenomenal. Or within acceptable oh. ranges. Here we go. Try and stop this stuff from going below or close to 50%. <clears throat> oh, and Oscar's run off. Let's see. Okay, a Javelin ghost ship. And then there's industrial hammerheads. Or hammerhead, no. The industrial gecko. Light cargo transports. Let's see. Hmm. Ghost ship or industrial? Hmm. Queen of Titan. Hmm. Let, let's go for the ghost, not the ghost ship, the industrial. The, we can pick up. Uh, we can. Look, we can pick apart a ghost javelin and some other time. Yeah, for. But I do like the idea. It is also a bit more work to deal with them. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Plus, there shouldn't be too much interior work with these, I think. It's likely just one big open area on the inside, beside the crew quarters. So we won't have to deal with much, well, decompre decompression and such. Mm. Yeah, it looks like mostly one big area. Or at least as I'm trying, if I'm trying to read the... <laughs> The sees through correct. Could just be completely wrong on that. Airlock depressurizing. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not find the space Four plane. Lifts. Okay. Now let's have ourselves a look. I believe with the last of these, we basically had. Okay, it's immediately into crew. Okay, so there is a lot more crew. Air, the crew like area than I thought. Okay. And here is the big one already. Oh dear. Hmm. Alright, it's gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay. It's an air um, regulator here. Hopefully, we can find some better topic to talk about. Yeah. But I've gotta repeat myself here again. I don't defend the Black Flag. I just repeated what I heard I nodded you to say, and I, I don't, I, I know what they, I know what they mean, but I, it feels wrong to agree with them. I will still consider Black Plague, or, I mean, I still, yeah, I will still consider Black Plague a horrible disaster. Yeah, which it was. Let's see. Okay, this one works. Um, that one works. Okay, probably if we work our way 
from the middle towards the cockpit with the pressurizing. So let's bring these over to a safer area so we don't get them destroyed. There. Okay. Now this one. In there you go. Okay. Yep, that closed all of those. Okay. Then over here. There you go. I'm back. Welcome back. The air fryer. A friend of mine has been has gotten one of those recently, and they've been using it for freaking everything. Yeah, here's the thing. I use it now and then at start, but since the pandemic started, uh, yeah, I used it more and more to at least twice a day. Mostly because of uh, what well, ease of use, but also for uh, for a period of time, uh, people were working in the kitchen where people were working at home a lot, and if it was, it, it, yeah, I had permission to be allowed to cook in the kitchen. It just it just felt wrong to cook food while they are working there. It just oh, felt uh, weird and uh, not proper, if, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so okay, I let's ended get up you uh, out of here. Cooking more and more up here. Okay, just put you in there. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let's say I don't have my air fryer in the usual kitchen. I have my own. I we have the two floors here, a bottom and upper. Okay. And uh, my other room behind uh, the, this PC wall, I just made uh, basically a library dining room, basically. Mm -hmm. But maybe eat there for some reason. I just happen to have some place where I have a fridge. And microwave and a air fryer on a table okay. by a window. It's anything else that is a hazard around here. So yeah, I yeah. But the only thing I do downstairs nowadays is to put down, put away dishes and uh, gather water. I bring up uh, water in uh, bottles down in my fridge. Says so I, I. I'm not very... Here's it. The water from the sink in the bathroom is perfectly fine and drinkable. It just feels weird to do it at times. Get back here, you. <laughs> also, yeah, the bottles I fill with water don't fit under it, so... <laughs> yeah. But I have found ways to, at times where they have been sick downstairs, I just then grab another thing, fill that with water, then pour that water into the other bottles. But that, again, that I only do if I want to avoid getting sick from uh, in, uh, being infected by downstairs whenever that happens. Okay, I probably should have done that first <laughs> to check if that would seal these off or not. Okay. Um, now, this is going to decompress the outside or the, in, the, the inner shell. So let's quickly hide these from the direct, well, <laughs> blow line. So I, I don't fully know if uh, stuff that's in the line of uh, in the, where the air escapes 
if that would really get them moved around much. So here we go. Uh, oh dear. But yeah, for Wait, did I just, just completely? I think I said this oh. many times. The, the, like, the, technically, the companies don't want you to call them air fryer. For only one company is allowed to call them air fryer on paper. But everyone just call it air fryer. But that's basically what it is. Just yeah. whoever invented it first uh, copyrighted it. Cool pipe. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. I don't know if I accidentally hit it with that or if I was just cutting too close to it. I think you accidentally hit it. Oh, well. oh yeah. The, the benefit with air fry is it, it's like an oven. But a microwave as well. Like, if you want to cook something in an oven, you usually need to guard it and inspect it occasionally. Yeah, it, it basically does it. Uh, it basically does the work of an oven in less time. Yeah, and when it's done, the, the, like it has a timer, so mm. you you, you won't have the whole thing like. Let's say this, you, you forget time that you've got your food in the uh, in the oven. That food is likely to be ruined. Mm. There. Now you can set st timers on ovens as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not, uh, not all ovens. There are many ovens people still get that don't have timers. Okay. Here's the his, his annoying part. The ovens with timers they're usually more expensive. Yeah, of course. And uh, is this? here's another e e annoyance. Like, it, this is this is from I just understand for apartment buildings. Since if you live in an apartment and your oven breaks, you're not the one paying for the oven. The house owner is. Yeah, that's when you're renting and such. Yeah, they will replace the oven. And... They'll probably replace really it cheap. Yeah, they will get you a good one, they just probably not get you the expensive one. This means you will get a good oven, just not the one with the timer. Okay, and yeah, then there's the, just a chance that you you end up with a bad uh, landlord who just doesn't replace it. There's plenty of horror stories about that as well, of homeowners and not homeowners, landlords uh, who just don't do any of the damn work that's required and such. Legally yeah, required and... Even. Yeah, some problems with that, but they have been strict towards them. But they sometimes do try. Yeah. And that's why market regulations, well, need to... <laughs> need to continue to be a thing, because people who say that uh, companies will... Regu uh, will uh, regulate themselves are either idiots or getting paid by you know, by those companies just just look look at Boeing they they've been they've had their regulations shortened or loosened and yeah there, there was a whistleblower that recently uh, turned up dead of a very obvious not suicide uh yeah that's a good example. But yeah, again, back to air fryers. Since they are, they are air fryers are smaller, and they are like a microwave. Like if, like there has been a red time I actually forgot my food in air fryer, <laughs> but it did not get burned due to like it, it was set on nine minutes. It turns off. It keeps on heat to keep uh, the food warm. But that's the heat uh, is used to cook with uh, afterwards. So the food will not get will not get burnt. It just the yeah. off the heat that remains in it afterwards. That and I, I'm pretty sure those things keep a pretty good seal, so that the heat just doesn't escape anyways until it's opened. Yeah, it, it will escape eventually, but it will take a while. Yeah, let's see. 
However, I have learned a few things uh, from this uh, air fryer. I, I, I will learn if I ever get a new one. No. Oil and fat is a pain to clean. Yeah. <laughs> and I was slow at the beginning, so you can guess the problems. A massive build-up. Yeah, I have been able to get much of the burnt stuff away. Probably is now some of the burnt stuff have also removed some of the protective coloring and the metal. Yeah. So the food gets stuck more. Uh, here's the thing, when oil and fat mix, it gets so annoying. But now, uh, since I stopped using food oil, if I realize, oh, wait, I don't need mm. food oil? To do anything, I just can quick as is, all right. It actually got easier to clean when it was only food fat. Yep. So I've been uh, able to dish it, uh, wash it more often, uh, the pot that you can wash. Yeah, there, there are certain food types uh, <clears throat> that just don't need any uh, butter or oil, like shawarma. Uh, basically, you can just toss that in a, uh, in a pan and it'll cook in its own fat. Yeah. I don't know what is heck happens when oil and f fat mix, but it just makes it so... Like, here's the thing. When you have the, it gather in the bottom, like you have a bit a, a, a spoon of oil in it. But once that spoon, little spoon of oil mixed with food fat, and you don't wash it uh, every time, even after the first uh, time, it's gonna be a pain to uh, clean. But no, no oil, and it's surprisingly easy to wash out. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that will always need cleaning sooner or later. Well, yeah. Uh, However, the problem is, I think, uh, is uh, due to I did not know I did not need the oil, I ended up being, oh, I can't deal with this now. And it became that like that. Because I remember mm -hmm. how long time, how many, almost 15, 20 minutes I needed to do just to scrub the grill thing and another 20 minutes to scrub the bowl thing. Yeah, then but it just since... started stacking up even more and more, becoming more of a chore. Yeah. <laughs> but since, again, since I stopped using food oil, what the? It, it, it only takes like one, two minutes the to going? clean it now. Why is the reactor going? Uh oh. But yeah, I think you hear yourself. Not using food oil goes from 20 minutes for East Peace to use like one or two minutes for East Peace. When not using oil. A big difference in motivation. But an easy just... Alright, it would only take a minute, let me do it. But yeah. Whenever I get a new air fryer, I will definitely take better care of it. You need to Especially get a knowing out of the way. what I know now. Come on. Okay. Oh god, I actually have a hot dog machine. Okay. Here's the thing, I took damn good care of it. It was an American <laughs> hot dog machine I got uh, from my relative. I used it a lot, I cleaned it every, after every use. However, I got sick. One time I was sick and used it, I was too tired and too sick to clean it. Yes, I was damn that sick. I just needed wanted, uh, I needed to lay down rest. But because I was so sick and could not clean it directly afterwards, guess what happened? It got all mucked up. Worse. It rusted up. Okay. Uh, not terribly, but it was that one single time for... Uh, I, I cleaned it the day after, since I had an, an, at least enough energy to do it, but even that little amount of a few hours, uh, from evening to uh, morning, it had rusted. It had started to rust. 
Okay, that is very, very quick, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing what happened is because I accidentally cut the coolant line, that, uh, yeah, the, the reactor was already starved of coolant. So, yeah, and then when I turned, yeah, purged the fuel, <clears throat> that basically should have started the meltdown right there and then, but for some reason it was delayed. Weird. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is it. I, I, I do feel like a machine, like it's a hot dog machine, should be able to handle a little fat. Yeah. But okay. just rust off the one single time of not to uh, be able to clean it right after. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And uh, I even felt the trick the there again. It did. It, it had all American banners of like, like proper true American quality, all that. And that happens. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm probably not going to trust something that uh, says... Uh, There's a lot like, of American uh, products that are also just very cheap. Yeah. They're very cheaply made. Like, I, I rarely trust me something says it's proper true... That nation, that company quality, I'll be very... very Skeptic right away. Uh, you said good quality steel or something like that, maybe. Yeah. So again, I don't know something else. I actually bought a kitchen set with knives and fork. That's uh, the stainless steel. Yeah. Prone into washing machine, uh, the dish, uh, dish machine. Dishwasher. A dishwasher. Guess what happened? Rust. Yeah. After first wash, eight they rusted. <sighs> it explains why they were she probably she, but still. Yeah. I still have them, but I put them away. For there, there was another problem. That was spread to other cutlery. Okay. But uh, once I clean off the rust and stop washing those to give it the others, none of the others got the rust. Hmm. Not really sure I've I'm ever heard of rust spreading from one thing to the next or something. Maybe yeah. It's more like because of something in itself is damaged or such. Yeah, uh. maybe. Like, even I am confused. When I saw that happen and noticed the pattern, I was just cutting. I was. I, I. I am still to this day confused. But even I don't recall rust spreading from one item to another. Could be that there was something going on that was causing it to well cause more oxidation or such, because that's typically how stuff rusts. I think more yeah, it like, reacts with oxygen than it does with water. Maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, nowadays not. All other things uh, will not get rust unless one of those uh, utensils accidentally somehow gets in there. This is probably why I put them in their own box to never be used again. Yeah, you might as well just uh, throw them in the trash then. Or in recycling yeah. or something. I think I even ended up just hand washing them. Mm. Mm. This is fine to hand wash to a degree, but uh, there will come a moment where you just wanna, they just need it to be a machine washed. Yeah. It kind of defeats the whole point of having a, a, a dishwasher if you're going to wash your dishes yourself anyways. Yeah, I, I do hand wash some of my dishes, but do, I, I'm the one that uh, the, works with the dish, uh, dish machine here in this house. Mm -hmm. An apartment. Come on. But uh, if I just had a, a plate that only had uh, some bread on it, 
or maybe yeah. in a more in a minor flash or bird or something, I can just dish it in the sink in the bathroom just fine. I just spray something on it and clean it out. But it's a bit more severe. Yeah, they, they will go down the stairs and uh, get washed there. Yeah. Okay. Making steady progress on this. I actually regularly wash my uh, drinking glasses. Uh, like, I drink milk once per day only. But after I, I had, uh, had it and I'm done eating, I will take the glass, wash it out, and I can reuse it right away. Yeah, because uh, with milk you definitely should do that as well, since uh, yeah, it can that can ease the remains of that can easily turn nasty in in the, yeah, in the glass or mug or whatever. Yeah, hence why I wash it right away, right before it actually you know dries up. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I pour some water, I spray some cleaning, like it, it, okay, I take I put. This soap in a spray bottle and mix it with water, then I just spray it in the glass, so it sprays nice and easy. Then okay. I brush it out, wash it out, ready to use. But I will only do it for a certain amount of day, like seven days, and it will go into the dishwasher. But there's a limit attached. to how long that method will uh, work. Then. Okay. Uh, I feel like during the pandemic, I learned a lot and adapted a lot. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know, I kind of wonder, how yeah. common awesome. may double appointments be? Uh, reasonably, I think. I think All they right. take up less space than single apartments every time. All right, well, here's the thing. When we moved in here, I'm not gonna say where, for obvious reasons. Yep. We moved into a port this apartment. This was probably the first apartment I've ever seen that was a double floor apartment. Okay, that way you meant. I meant. I thought you meant more like uh, two people in a uh, one apartment and such. Yeah. Uh, no, no. We we mean like uh, it's an apartment with two floors. Okay. Yeah. That. Um, hmm. Not too sure on that, actually. Yeah, I, I got. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know how common it is. I have heard it, it is a thing. Only time I ever seen it before was in, in like, you know, rich person apartments. You see in movies. There we go. Also, Bart's okay. Lucky placement there. Okay, let's also remove the hazard of the pipes being leaky. Okay, there. All right, my I actually forgot my coat now. <laughs> oh, then it's lucky that uh, it keeps the heat. Okay. Mm. Okay, that's coming off quite nicely. Hmm. Are you still... No, you're not touching anywhere. Okay. Let's just send that off. Another little thing. Okay, need to find the fuses before we remove the electrical power. Okay, come on. Come on, there. Okay. No need for that. Yeah, well. Scrap getting destroyed. It will. 
As long as we can keep the destruction to some 5 to 10%. Fuel levels are low. It'll be good for... Uh, it'll be plenty of uh, well, other the gain beyond that. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure if I've seen these big panels before. They shouldn't be attached. Hmm. Oh, wait. There is inner structure ones. Hmm. Okay, looks like I'll need to cut this thing loose. From the panels in here. Go. Wriggle through. Okay, it's still too heavy. Okay, I thought it was a shorter panel there. Let's see. At what points are you actually attached? Also, hello. Now, let's see if I can actually get it right this out. No. <laughs> Too early. Yeah, I need to hit it when it's they're all off. <laughs> Not half a second before that. There we go. Uh, let's see, back to you. Okay, you're also attached over here. Is that enough? Yes, that's yeah, enough. Back. Welcome back. Wanna... How careful should one be when talking about one's uh, leaving area? Like... Uh, of course, not tell too much, of course, for just basic personal safety. Yeah, like, I mean, never to the address. Yeah, or city, or something like that. Uh, I mean, not the CCTO address, but <clears throat> is me telling I live in a double floor apartment bad or? No, it's not specific enough. I think. Yeah. I, I guess it would be an issue if, if this if I lived in the only one that ever existed. <laughs> then Which yeah, that doubtful. would be an issue. Man. Yeah, I am extremely doubtful, especially since we have seen the version of those in the movies. Nope. Nope, not, I'm not going to yeet myself into one of these again. There. Let's see. Some more building blocks. Let's get going. Okay. Removed almost everything of the shell. All right. There. Um. Let's see. I don't know how much further we have to go in Jedi Knight Two, but I do feel like we are at least in the last act or so of it. So yeah, I'll be tri I'll be triple checking my settings with uh, the DS simulator because we won't be moving to Jedi Academy just yet, since Jedi Knight Two is actually where it's actually the last game where you play as Cal Katarn as the main protagonist. So we we will be uh, playing Jedi Academy after what well, we need second set of Star Wars games that I've got ready or streaming. Okay. I know I've seen a little bit of Jedi Academy. Okay. But that was long ago, back when I lived in a village. Can I actually just send it off with that, or is that going to leave a cloud? No, I can't just... I can't just yeet them out like that. <laughs> okay. Alright. 
Now we don't want to make we don't want to bump into things with these. So as long as they don't hit anything on the way down, it should be okay. And I very much I don't think if I give them a bump with this, that would most definitely leave behind a cloud of nuclear or ra a radioactive particles, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, just a moment here. Uh, yep. Hello, Godo Pizza. They say, <laughs> "Good day, gentlemen. I have come out to lurk to come out and ask, Ilian, do you play Genshin? I swear, I have seen you play that on Discord." Yes, I play Genshin Impact quite a bit. Uh, typically, I play it at least for a bit every day. This is uh, comical, considering what you, uh, what your opinion is on most JRPG. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that really counts as a JRPG. It has RPG elements, of course, but it's not like hardcore JRPG where, it, the, where you need to level stats and such, as, uh, with, with a chance of just completely screwing over your build into something that doesn't or won't function later on. Uh, let's see, pizza. I just wanted to ask since, like, on my first pull, I managed to pull two characters in one pull. Oh, you, you mean a ten pull? Yeah, that, that can happen, that you can get two uh, characters with that. I've, I I've realized... had it happen at times that I got some three at once. Uh, Hill, what you described, how you describe JRPG is not a JRPG. Mm. It was most... RPGs in general, not just the RPG. Okay. okay. Apparently, I'm dropping hot bars at my own face. Uh, but yeah, with, uh, from my. Oh, there is the last one. From my understanding, JRPGs tend to be a lot more technical with their systems and such. There. Yeah. So it, once you understand it, it's actually surprisingly e e easy. Yeah. It's not like I dislike RPGs in general or big RPGs. It's just that a lot of the time they take a hell of a lot of investment of time to be able to make any progress. And I've had it uh, where uh, my big, the biggest J, the, yeah, the biggest RPG that I think I've personally played for a good amount of time. Oh, wait, this... Okay, I think only these need to be cut. The corners need to be cut for that to come free. Uh, the biggest RPG that I've ever played, I believe, was Neverwinter Nights 2. And I have to play through that like three or four times because every time my save got corrupted when I'd get to the last act or so. And at, at, at some point I just went, fuck this, I'm giving up. I actually had a, a similar problem. You know, it was back then where, you know... Downloading was a common. It was even during a time where we had no internet. Let's the... see, Pizza got lucky again. <laughs> uh, what thing are you pulling in? Uh, there is. I know at the start with Genshin, there is a. Uh, <clears throat> I, there is a special banner where you're guaranteed to get Noel, I believe. Uh, yeah. oh, I should clarify. For a time where we had no internet due to. We were to switch internet companies, but they kept messing up over and over. So a friend came over with a external hard drive and copied over a never been nice to to my PC. This was fun, but something happened when I finally reached the final boss. Oh. I turned immortal. Okay. Only only my main character turned immortal. Yeah, okay, so the rest of your party basically got their ass beat in <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah, and do you remember how the boss fight works? I never got to that. It, you need a team for you need several characters to go around and destroy different pillars and totems around him. Okay. And yeah, you see the problem there is if you have sure. The main character is someone turned mortal. Fine. But I just one character that have will not be able to destroy all other things within a short period of time. Yeah. So okay. you basically get stuck. 
Uh, let's see. Pete says, very excited and very chatty. Let's see. Uh, yeah, now I shall go back into lurking. Next post within less than a minute, full caps. <laughs> so much for lurking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, managed to get a Pyro, Geo, and Electro back to back. Genshin really does appreciate me coming back to it after such a long time. Okay, so you're not a new player. Uh, got Noel, Bennett, and Beidou from Noel's banner. By the way, all three of the characters I got from Noel's banner. Okay, you get a limited amount of pulls in that. And Noel is certain to be one of those, I believe. Uh, but. Okay, since I'm, since you still have that available, I'm guessing you never really played it too much to begin with, Pizza. Because I think you can only get like 30 pulls from that. Oh dear. <clears throat> and of, co of course the next question is going to be, what server are you playing? I'm, I'm guessing Asia. Uh, personally, I play on the Europe servers. Uh, because, well, Europe. I still find it a I still find it stupid that they don't have cross-regional play, even temporarily. Let's see, I used to play Genshin back on 2020 or something on my PS4, okay. Let's see, air filter. Uh, let's see. We're approaching two hours. Hmm. I I feel like mm -hmm. we can do one more hour, just not four, just not four. Yeah. There we go. Let's see, pizza. Don't do I think so. Yeah, Asia. Ah, yeah. You re you really th you'd think that with a popular uh, game like that they would implement uh, cross region by now. And I, how long has it's been at least four years. Closer to five, maybe? Hmm. Maybe that's just something they'll put out for their five-year anniversary or something. Maybe. Let's pull that off. Okay, anything else of much importance here? Or can I start plucking this thing apart? Ramazi, uh, I can uh, tomorrow buy uh, Unicorn Overlord. Okay. I, I heard that uh, you can finish it within 40 hours by going to the main quest directly. But it's recommended to do the side quests. So yeah, apparently so you don't get underleveled. Yeah, but also apparently it has been praised for doing side quests rather well. Okay. That they feel part of the story. So there's probably two types of side quests. There one's about the characters where you actually or actually top characters and then the traditional can you go pick up that and that? Yeah, the busy work ones. Yeah, in this case I feel like uh, actual side quest and uh, side missions, maybe? Or uh, requests. But yeah, um, it looks very good, and apparently they've been working on it for 10 years. Okay. And not only that, a lot of it, the uh, uh, main developer paid themselves for keep developing it. For the... Okay, yeah, so no they, big funders. Most of the money they got in the beginning ended up being used up very, very quickly. Okay, so you meant more like they've been funding it out of their own pockets. No, uh, mm. yeah, yeah, they have, they have been funding it from their own pocket uh, for a while. Yes, okay. it didn't start out like that. Very, but from very... what I've been seeing and from what I've seen from the animations and all that, and it looks like a really good passion uh, project game and it like sure it is it is pricey so sometimes i will get a game on the sale either by accident or if i feel like okay it looks fun but i'm still a bit unsure maybe i get that on sale this one i feel like all right i will give them this money for they spent so many years on this gorgeous looking game that Many are praising plays 
damn well. Yep. So I feel like, all right, I am willing to pay the full price for this. Since, especially now that I rarely buy new games. Mostly because not many games interest me nowadays, and since I'm cool commentating with Hillian so much, I, I, you get to experience a lot second hand. Yeah. So I'm feel fine paying for the price. However, I will not buy this special bundle though, which only adds uh, digital bonus art and digital 60 bit music. Okay, yeah. Which I feel like. <laughs> Uh, I can skip that out. Looks like it started raining outside well, since we've been streaming. Oh dear. Mm. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see it play. For apparently, it's a very big homage to Ogre Tactic, Fire Emblem, and a few other war RPG games like that. Okay. But it has yeah, also its I've own feet. I've heard mostly good about things. it as well. Yeah, but it looks fun. I'm not sure about... Oh, hmm. Actually... 40 hours for the main quest? Yeah, for, for an RPG, that is technically a bit... a bit of a low number, but then again, there is typically, like... You know, Dozens of side quests to add on a good few dozen more. Yeah, I just pondering. Hmm. I guess. I guess it may be streamable for us. Hesitantly, I will say that. Okay. Do that. If I do this. Do, that's more to do with our new streaming way, we, like. Like, if we were only to stream it for two hours, then we would probably be like 20, 25 episodes, maybe more. Yeah. But for the free four hour stream, Salvage might be more doable. Okay, can pluck this thing clean. However, I haven't played it yet. I just put uh, some videos on the classes and some tips. I just haven't taken a proper look on how the game play. Proper look how the game plays. Because okay. I probably will uh, while it uh, downloads or something tomorrow. Very but from what I've seen so far, it looks uh, promising. Yeah, from what I know, we did raid someone who was playing it. Yeah. It, it does have similarities with uh, Fire Emblem, but it's more real time. That we can stop to time to make decisions and such. It's always nice. <clears throat> yeah. And it's more that you send out squads and individual units, so you can plan things uh, with uh, squads in mind. So yeah. Could be that it's... you have ones that are fully for defense with healers and knights, and others for fully offense or a mixture. Yeah. Which I like, and I also learned that. Because it has to be recommended to not focus on one squad to be the main squad to take all the XP. Yeah, that's, As, that can bite you in the ass with games like Fire Emblem. Yeah, but this one specially for... Here's another a mechanic the other ones don't have. Your soldiers squad can tire out. Yeah. They need okay, a that's... break to regain the stamina. Okay, that is something that you don't see too often nowadays, yeah. I think. Or at least not in the big names. It, it, like normally when you focus on one something like that one character too much this means that uh, everyone's just gonna be wiped out too easily he's more like he's more the risk of uh, while you may still have that happen you also have a risk of uh, your strong squad will tie out way too quickly due to you put them too much in too many fights yeah in that one battle without a break so, hmm. yeah, it doesn't matter if they can hit very hard if they are too tired. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be able to lift that sword to be, to be able to smite someone with it. Yeah, this, uh, that just feeling, okay, that's a fair challenge, but also motivate, motivates people away from doing, I just focus on this squad. Yeah. 
this I am glad it motivates you from not doing that. Uh, you are motivated to do several squads, or at least... Like, you can't cheaply get a lot of squads early on, but someone did recommend that to maybe wait with that and start with the squads you have, is a few, and focus on making the squad, the member, how many members you can have per squad higher instead. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be against streaming some RPGs, despite that they could take really freaking long. <clears throat> oh, come on, get. Same, just be, you probably be careful with which one we pick. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Actually, I, I don't think I'd be against like streaming Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail at some points as well, because they do have pretty good stories. The gameplay can, of course, be at very grindy, but that I can probably mostly just do off screen. Plus, since I already have accounts with those games, I know well, beginner mistakes to avoid and such. <laughs> hmm. so why do they just have a single room with a crane in it? Oh, there's a, there's a lot of reason also I'm getting uh, Unicorn Overlords. Yeah. Uh, summer is approaching, as we know. Yeah. And I have sort of have like... like so we still play on my PC at summer, but we play it less. Okay, any specific so, reasons? Or just because of the heat? Yeah, for like... Yeah, I think you can agree, like... You play a game that maybe do it makes more heat during a heat wave? Or a very active game, you mean? Yeah. That doesn't sound like a good thing for the PC, does it? Yeah. And I even have a rule of trying to remember to clean the PC out of dust before, like uh, the month before summer. So it has, in, there is no dust during the heat wave. Yeah, because when a PC gets dusty, it will just generate more and more heat. Yeah. And. Uh, Damn. It's still attached. Oh, dust and heat wave doesn't sound like a good uh, mix. Last year wasn't too bad. We didn't have too many heat wave last year. Hmm. Like, we, we did have them, yes. But not as severe and as many as the, the other years. No, so wait, I'm is there gonna something pray on the inside? that this one will also be very stingy with the heat waves. We'll just have to see. Yeah, but I can always hope. But that's also probably why I'm eager to get Unicu Ulo for. That means that I can have my PC on, but most of the chat, in sense. If it's just running the fans without playing a game, then at least it, then the fans are focusing on to at least always steadily cool it down, even a heat wave. Yeah. But then Let's... I can sit in my bed and play something else in the meantime, while I would probably be too sluggish to sit in a chair. Uh, and also, I, I don't recall a switch hitting up a room. No. Okay, I see what's going on here. I, th I think these consoles are keeping it squeezed, or keeping it connected to the walls. There. And with that one gone, yep, now we can move this. Okay. Oh, actually, I just learned something about Unicorn Warlord. I want to say, I, there's a character type, a unit called the Cell Sword. Which I like. They have nice armor, nice sword, and all. It kind of looks like they, they have a short skirt. Of course, they have. Uh, some nice boots and shoot a lot of fires. However, they are they, they, they are not the use stereotypical sword girl in short skirt. Oh. Um, but they are, um, 
Amazons. Uh, 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 here's the thing. Have you heard about fake fires save lives? <laughs> okay. Fruit it out. Replace it out. Fake fires crush skulls. <laughs> so they are a bit pear shaped. No. They are. They're, they're, they have, they have, a, oh, I guess I have, you don't see too much what they have up and body for, they have, they have bag, very baggy arm sleeves and all, but they, um, fries, bloody heck, <laughs> they, they, they're not those big uh, soft ones, they're the ones that are so many mushrooms that we crush your skulls, that's why I say that we crush skulls, they, they're not bad looking, but they, they are, they'll be in the line that, yeah, I don't want to mess with her. I don't, I don't want to anger her. I don't want her to crush me. <laughs> kind of fies, if they, you get what I mean. Yeah. This only tells me there one thing. If that's her fies... Just, just think about how much pain she can deliver with her arms. Yeah. Makes you wonder... If, for, here's the, it's a short skirt, and the only thing of her muscle you see is her thighs, for everything else is covered up in armor and cloth. Ah, here? Except her head, she has no helmet, for some reason. But if those, when you see those thighs, you do know, okay, if those thighs are that muscular... I'm not kidding, those are muscular thighs. <laughs> yeah, uh. they're, they're definitely... A brick wall of a six-pack, six probably, hiding behind the chest plate and uh, arm cannons and all that, you get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, is, is it a funny case of, oh, you know, I guess you probably, you said they look at the first sight at, oh, sexy short character. Um, and uh, go from that and go to being horrified. Uh, I can I can picture people underestimating those cell swords, and uh, then ten seconds later, they're, <laughs> they're, those uh, legs are wrapped around their neck and they're getting choked out. I feel more like they underestimate it first until they see the thighs. <laughs> Go, oh, you stressed like a school girl. <laughs> Don't crush my head with those, please. Those makes me wonder if when do they have. Legs like that. Um, how powerful kicks and powerful runners may they be? Very. So yeah, it's one of those things like. Uh, how to say? Like it's usually something uh, that's usually supposed to be erotic. To, uh, sort of with light, very light erotic. But they somehow made it terrifying. <laughs> they made it actually intimidating. Okay, now how going, am this I going I to get this out? I respect they actually made a total flip on that. Let's see, that's not going to fit, or maybe. But yeah, I, mean, I think I said this before. I'm being neutral on fan service. It depends how this fan service has been done. Uh, it, yeah. There has been moments I feel like it's been alright, and, and uh, then I go, or oh, does I feel like, okay, a little bit much. But this also is one of those I feel like they flipped the script on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot help but to respect that, uh, that character, for they have good abilities, and people have been commenting about uh, their thighs, uh, that they hit like a truck. Besides, okay. I can understand why. Hmm. I'm going to try something here. Instead of cutting um, parts in the panel itself, I'm going to destroy the uh, and the outline. Oh gosh, I remember another character there. This is it's called Gladiator and Progressive Berserker. I guess they have different names to their rank. Like. Cell Sword is the one with the mighty thighs and hit like a truck. Yeah. The Gladiator slash Berserker is a main character 
Us may have skipped some leg day, but have done all on chest and arms. <laughs> Thought so. Yeah, he, he, he's, he has pants, he has some leg armor, he got a lot of arm armor and helmet, but no thing on the chest. You? And, uh, yeah, they... Build like a gorilla is an understatement. <laughs> okay. Let's this see. is a case of if a gorilla saw him, they go, I will surrender now. <laughs> and of course, they are axe wielder. Yeah. I don't think axes were really used much by gladiators. It's typically swords. Most exotic I can think of is a trident. Yeah. But I, I, we get the other benefit for it. I can only guess a gladiator is the lowest rank that can go from gladiator to berserker. But just mm. look up in like, I feel like, okay. They have many people with full armor, full clothing, some light, less clad, some more clad than others. So I feel like, all right, it's not a fan service game. Yeah. Some respect. Yeah, so it's it. obvious they have different flavors. Accidentally destroyed the atmosphere regulator there. Oh well. I guess closest you get to quote unquote fan service would be the shamaness and witch, but even they, at least for I've seen, are not too bad, for I have seen worse. Okay. I've seen way worse. They're still within the, at least within tasteful limits. But yeah, I, I'm looking so forward to play this game. <laughs> it is very clear, yeah. Okay. One well, more milestone. That, like, they may use common Yale Piggy tropes, but they'll pull off them rather well with the art style and how they execute them. Because okay. I kind of agree for. Just let's agree. It's definitely hard to do a unique story every single time. Yeah. There will be overlaps. So, the important part will be how. How do you make them different, or how do you execute them? Yeah, because there's a there's a much there's a big difference between doing a trope well and doing it bad. Indeed. So I feel like, from what I understand, they are doing the story very well. Like I said, some tropes you have seen before, but they are executed rather well. They don't feel annoying. Mm -hmm. This is a plus for me. Let's try plucking one of these from the out, from the inside out. But the other thing that makes me most happy is... Beside the unique characters you start with that are the story characters, yeah. you can hire characters, you can name them, you can customize them. And yes, I will make a Helion. <laughs> of course. I was unsure what class Helion will be. Berserker. Are you telling me you skip leg day? <laughs> Maybe. I do sit down for these streams like for several hours. Yeah, but... Wait, hold on. Wait, is that why you're short? <laughs> you're no. short legged. Uh... <laughs> oh, good gosh, now I cannot see unsee that mental image. <laughs> Of me finally meeting you, I wonder what is it? They're looking down. Oh, don't they? What the heck ten legs you have? Uh, actually, it reminds me. I had a dream about us uh, some week ago. No. Yeah, you. Some in the dream you had uh, some months earlier in the dream. You said you you were moving to Sweden. Okay, a bit too chilly for me. Yeah, it's not. Uh, uh, it depends where. But uh, <laughs> one week later, I hear that uh, someone's. Uh, I'm getting a new neighbor across my door. I can see where that's going. Yeah, and uh, uh, later, I hear they are Dutch. I thought. And, and we were to stream even mm -hmm. later than that. You said you got you moved into a new apartment. I thought, wait. Yeah, you would move in. Wait, hold on. <laughs> 
hey, I'm gonna tr test something. I said, right. and I went and locked the door, and uh, yeah, he then said, wait, if somebody's knocking the door, I'm gonna check. <laughs> I think you see where this is going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I, I think I remember your response. I think, yeah, I, I actually remember our response. Me going, hell? And you still me going, drunk? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Just a thin waiver of aluminium here. Okay, not that thin, uh, but still. Oh well, yeah, I think you see why I remember that, that dream. Yeah. It, it, it's something comical. Yeah. Let's do, see. Do, actually, do one. How do you think you would react if you actually moved to Sweden and somehow accidentally became my neighbor without knowing it? I would probably just not stop laughing for the next few hours. Yeah, I, I'd probably laughing my ass off. But at the same time, I would probably also be happy for that. Could make a few things easier. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Are these now apart? Does Open look easy. like it. It'd be nice to finally have a friend that I can visit, but also in some ways as an added bonus, besides having a friend as a neighbor. It would, wouldn't that open up new games to streams in a way? Yeah. Local co op only ones and such. Yeah, and it would also. Hmm, actually, I just realized I would still need to be on this Discord uh, to co commentate for the Avatar. <laughs> but still, yeah, it would, like, if we were to co op on couch games, like on a, a go old console game and such, it would be possible. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I need but to also, cut this down uh, a bit more. But also, I'll probably yep. also be able to. Uh, well, not gonna do it and remind you soon stream and such. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I will admit, I could see that also get annoying for either of us. Okay, uh, let's cut this thing down some more. Not missing you. Okay. Hmm. I, th I think you can hear stuff being set up downstairs already for dinner, since it's well, it's yeah, our sides of the family's turn to make dinner again. Nope. Okay, that was already coming loose. Oh well. Oh dear. Then. Hmm. That would be really early, though. Hmm. Yeah, it would be a lot early. Okay. Anyways, though, we should still be able to... Have, well, we're finishing this thing up. Every, yeah, that's for freaking sure, at least. Wow, already... Well, already dealing with the scraps. Um, let's see. There. Oh, it reminds me. We have been sort of talking about what we we do after we done with this uh, hardship uh, game. Yeah. Okay. It probably we start with another game, but also had a the Hila had a the uh, I probably also had this idea a while ago. Call it survival Sundays where we play survival games. Yeah, basically moving Valheim and such back if possible. Yeah. Do uh, so that. Uh, just another game like uh, that is uh, you and me playing like we are doing now. We probably just do from from the, what we uh, our new uh, stream hour. But for Valheim, yeah, if we do Valheim on Sunday, it definitely will be. We need to investigate how to do it. Uh, it that uh, we can, uh, yeah, get the Glacier Boy and Durban Lord uh, along. Yeah, maybe first. we could turn. Maybe we could do Minecraft or such. St there's, there's still be some. Yeah, there's still been some issues with uh, the server getting set up and such. Certain mods apparently not wanting to work together on a server. 
instead of oh, you... in single player. Oh, you mean like uh, almost what happened last time? <laughs> okay, that is quite a sight to just see all of that go up in flames. Oh, good gods. Yeah, uh, which exactly were you meaning? Uh, didn't the, the last server they planned to do had a lot of issues as well? Uh, not really massive ones or such, if it's a big piece of glass, but more that uh, uh, it was... It, it tended to get slowed down a lot, I believe. So nothing like hard bugs, but more just nuisances for, well, being able to play and such. There. Okay, just a few lost bits. Another few lights and doors destroyed. Okay. Food packets there. Okay, there was one expensive light there. 13k. 10k? What? Oh. Okay, why are some of these just so much more expensive? Oh well. Either way. Oh, I completely forgot about the, f the nose. Okay. Not your nose! Wait, wait where is your nose? nose? Actually, I don't see your nose. Oh, there it is. Okay, just get this thing moving. Oh, I just remember something else. You know how we've been actually made a meme or joke a lot over how I sometimes misread things or mishear things? Yeah. The other day when you're playing Dark Tide, mm -hmm. I was on the side of my room, or well, I was about to lay down in my bed. I looked over at PC to see if someone uh, replied to me or something. I see that the Steam says, Hian is playing Warmer 40k. <sighs> Farm Tide? Nope. Dog date. <laughs> okay. Or something, something along date. Date date or something. <laughs> I thought, wait. I must have misread that. He's, he, he can't be a player of Warmer 40k dating game. I would honestly not be surprised if there is one of those. Probably fan games. Bonk. I okay. would be surprised if there were officially licensed ones, otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing with that is, is that I finally managed to figure out what the hell was causing me issues with Dark Tides, and apparently it was one of the, uh, one of the shield, the, one of my antivirus shields that was causing that. So I, I turned that, down, I turned the sensitivity of that down some, and now I can actually play that game without having to. Well, try to log in dozens of times before it would let me in. Ah. Okay, level 22. Experts. All right. Now, let's see what fresh hell hell can get up now. To get, yeah, to make our day more difficult. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Yep. Clean your plate, qualified. Salvage 15 food packs. Okay. Still nothing new with story or such. Did I did I get did I yeah, get us locked into some sort of bad ending by not having the ship ready or something? Hey! Ow! Oh, that. Let's see. We've got a thousand well, that, points, so let's upgrade well, some. I said this. If we are in a bad ending, we continue playing without doing it. Would that be a, a very bad design? Uh, depending on how long it would take to get to an actual ending. Uh, let's buy the scanner. We are. We've dropped our. We've dropped our daily costs quite a uh, lot already. It used to be like half a million, now it's more like a quarter million. Uh, purchase the helmet. 
purchase the suits. And that should be everything bought now, I think. Let's double check. Suit, helmet, scanner, thrusters. Yep, that's all of this stuff is now uh, ours. Okay, let's get a few more upgrades with these. Okay, and it looks like there is no more upgrades to turn the scan the, the cutter into being able to cut through the uh, holes as well. Okay. Only range? Nothing new there, nothing new there. That's not needed since we don't, well, we don't use oxygen. Um, yeah, we're almost gotten everything upgraded as much as is useful. Only some stuff on the cutter here. Okay. Oh dear. Hmm. Still nothing new here. Hmm. Wait, wait, go back. There's something yeah, new. A, yeah, it does say it does say new, but the ship, our our little ship, isn't there, so we can't do anything with it. Hmm. Let's see. Javelin, station hopper. A light mackerel ghost ship. The Deimos? Okay. Mm, let's go with this one since at least we'll be able to get a good amount of cash just ripping the, the cargo containers off. Okay. Another glorious day in the employ of Lynx. Aren't we lucky? I can hear the tension out there. Look, adversity is the forge of discipline. I get it. Punishment smarts, but you'll be better for it. Yeah, if the punishment is deserved. Well, listen. The real people to blame anyway are the agitators. Reckon a perfectly good thing for everyone. The Union didn't take my comms privileges. No, that's true. That one's on you. We all have no, that's you. personal accountability from time to time. Well, I'm gonna go make a brew. Let's make strong decisions out there today. Yes, sir. Okay, he is really starting to push everyone's buttons now. Okay, so I th I think we are real close to someone just having a complete and utter blowout at him. Let's continue pulling these off. I think something... Uh, I think you're sort of right, but not in the way you expect. Yeah, how do you think that things will happen then? Hmm. This might be wish wishful thinking, but I think like someone will snap it explosively or in an unexpected way. Hmm. Like it, they will snap, but not in a visible right way way. No, no, it is not through the radio. Not true to the code link. Yeah. Hmm. What I'm saying, people, is... Certain someone may have a visit. <laughs> Perhaps, yeah. Prepare okay. the torches a bit. No, wait, pitchfork and torches. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she has said already that if she can... Uh, if she could get close enough, she definitely... Well, if if not maybe outright kill him, definitely hurt him. Mm. Yeah, and I... This definitely does give him that these things are dangerous. And probably don't have a safety feature to prevent you from shooting someone with it. It's probably explain why you work on this alone. Yeah. 
Okay. Then again, it does have it does have some sort of sensor in it that tells it if it can or cannot cut something. So there probably is something in it that would pre hopefully prevent it from being used as a weapon. Hopefully, but stuff like that could, of course, be overwritten or sabotaged. Yeah. But you could just whack someone with it. Definitely. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get some more tethers. But also, another thing is, I feel like something will happen for... Something he did in... The CEO also did... What was... Probably the dumbest thing they could have done. Is to send out a message telling everyone, Oi, we, you already knew you were slaves, but you are... Uh, we are going to actually treat you like that now. That's yeah, something that could be sent along. I actually call them actually properties because they are clones and all that. Like, uh, this is the case of the cat is out of the box. Yep. Now they as soon as someone new... gets that message over to the uh, whatever you, the, the, the whatever the government uh, was called again, then yeah, there's going to be. Uh, a lot of interest suddenly in links. Yeah, but not only. I, I, I actually fear that, that many companies has do, have done this. Yeah, could, I wouldn't be surprised if there are other uh, in world companies that do this sort of shit. Yeah, for we have seen snippets of other companies being rather. Yeah, you know. Oh. Shitty. Yeah. Apparently, there's a, a maximum amount of tethers that can be active at once. Okay, I didn't know that. It kind of makes sense for... Let's be honest, if you just spam a lot of them everywhere... Confirmed. Yeah. You could probably stress out the game. But, yeah. And, let's not forget, no, people probably know why they keep adding random things that makes it harder to pay off the debt. Yep. Oh, that was that was the illusion. And now the yeah, illusion is gone. And people may realize, oh, I can't pay off my debt to get free. Yeah, debt the traps are something that still happens in real life as well. Yeah. But here's the dangerous part. Now knowing that is actually... How we confirmed that it was a lie? People and that may, they all uh, slaves. yeah. People may act in uh, ways that links won't expect because, well, people don't have anything to lose anymore, which means they are much likely to well actually fight like they don't have much to lose anymore. Yeah, like hell may see us being more, more calm and calm, but. I think we all heard this term. The calm before the be storm. Yeah, be beware the quiet ones as well. Yeah, that, that's true. Okay. But I, don't, I feel like something will happen. Yeah, there wouldn't be surprised be if Blue turns up back again and just brings something, rams, uh, rams something filled with explosives into the station. Yeah, and I think I saw something new here. No? Uh, if you... Uh, uh, actually, we probably should w uh, wait with that until uh, you fix that thing. For... Let's see. If you look over... What is this birth? Mm hmm? Airlock depressurizing. Uh, where? Uh, turn on... Uh, uh, turn aside... Look aside. To uh, left, right. Uh, left? Oh, wait, no, right, 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 <laughs> right. Up. Yeah. Was that elevator always there? That what? Look up. The, ele the, the elevators have been there since day one. It has? I, I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, it isn't really much 
of a point of interest. Like, it, we never do anything with it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing... Now I think about it, I... Right in front of this, okay. Uh, I'm guessing all of the stuff that we process and such gets put uh, or either gets uh, used to make new things or gets repackaged <clears throat> and then sent it's up in those containers uh, okay. for to be sent out to, well, from the middle parts to be sold. That would mm. make sense for, let's be honest, there's a lot of metal and other materials on these ships that it will be ah. ways to just throw into a young yard. Yeah. Since, let's be honest. Sure, they call us uh, nice other planets to make mining, uh, mining and all that. But doesn't mean you will not uh, recycle. Mm, yeah, reusing as much as possible is always well, the best option. Indeed. Mm. Okay. Air pressure level decreasing. Okay. Yeah. As uh, really, someone stashed their booze in the. Okay, I'll I'll give him that. It's it it's somewhat smart since well, it oh. gets cooled. I would say, maybe they did accidentally, but yeah, coolant, yeah, it, cool it, beer. yeah, then, yeah, it was like, okay, could still be an accident, but it feels likely not accident for, that does feel like they did indeed use it as a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Time to peel this thing. Uh, first off, though, let's open this up. This, this this thing would totally not work in atmosphere because you would just have to climb over this thing to try and get in there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, did what's the react? No, not the reactor. The regulator here functional? Yes. Okay. Okay, then we can just do this, and this entire sector is depressurized. Okay. Okay, I just noticed the name of this ship at the top. Yeah, Shimmy McCullough. Oh, good, you reminded me. I think it's St. Patrick's Day today. Okay. Yeah, I, I never managed to keep track of uh, holidays like that, unless people are actively doing stuff for it outside. Same. <clears throat> and uh, there's only a few places that will celebrate it to begin with, so... Yeah. Definitely something that most people may overlook until... Uh, nope. Well, it's, when it's until it's mentioned. Okay, extra cargo in here instead of car instead of crew uh, stuff. What is this? Just another bottle. I can hear the fuses already. Okay, this one's broken, so we pull that off immediately. Wait, was that another one? No. Okay. Hmm. This might be a bit tricky then. Since. Oh, another one. Okay. Two room, Three rooms next to each other that have broken atmosphere regulators. So that means that we're going to have to pop a wall to get these out. Or to get these unpressurized. Wait, hold on. All the rooms that had broken pressure regulators? Yep. So we can't do the typical depressurizing into a different area. And these outer shell... Uh, these... <clears throat> these uh, crawl spaces don't have their own 
uh, regulators. So, yeah, we're going to need to pop one of the panels off. Oh, that's what you think about. I think about something more terrifying. Oh? I think we, know, we may know now why uh, this ship is being salvaged. Yeah. For... What was that? Unless those broke after it was abandoned or dumped off. But here's the thing, if those things broke during uh, during use... Yeah. Okay, yeah, this you is see going what to I mean. pop off. Yeah, you, I think you can see why I actually got concerned when you pointed out all of them were broken. Okay, I got a sticker there. Jack me up. What was that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. <laughs> I did not actually expect to get flung out, but that was the most amount of atmosphere in one go to get blasted out so far. So I guess I should have expected it. Okay, hey, yeah, there there's a crack in this now. Stand on it. No. Oh. No, not sir, too far. Not too far. You. Yeah. This distributor. Zero credits. Move that thing anywhere but there. Uh, yep. it, is it working? No. <laughs> oh, come on, it was starting to get pulled away. Oh uh, well. It's just one oh, of was, many panels. There was only a tiny, tiny slice up there in the meter, so. Not too bad, but still a bit annoying. Yeah. Okay. There. I don't like that sound. It's not supposed to be you know, pleasant. It is just an explosion overloading the uh, audio synthesizers. Oh, for me, I think I told this before. Apparently, many years ago, Whenever someone was to make a call, the, the speakers will make that sound, apparently. Okay. So when I hear that, they go, outside. all right, someone about to make a call. Wait. Huh? Wait, the cargo area is still pressurized? Okay. Huh. Uh. Okay, that's a, that's unexpected. I hadn't I didn't think that these would seal off. Hmm. Must be an emergency measure or something to well avoid an entire ship getting sucked out into space when one of the panels um, busts out. Okay. I, I'm hoping it's expecting for us to find a corpse. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at least uh, those would get cleaned out before they uh, ships would get sent over here. Provided they can get to them and know about them. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there, or we'll care about them. That too. Okay. Is this going to be a small blowout? Okay. Oh, almost forgot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm, uh, I was planning to see this for Star Wars. I might repeat it in Star Wars. Uh, this is going to be stream Star Wars. Yeah. Do you know the red, uh, uh, red big uh, guy from Rebels? The uh, criminal one. Uh, right, the one, one of the Inquisitors. 
Or... Uh, no, no. Not the English dude, but the one that's extremely overweight and tiny legs and arms. Oh, that one. I'm sure you got to know something about him. Then that be... He's based on the original design for Jabba the Hutt. Okay, I can see the similarities. And I, I say this here, uh, the original... The original design from the original movie. <laughs> they just... They made it, they thought, alright, we do that, him like that. But they end up... But the funny thing is, they ended up reusing the design for after so many years for Rebels. Yeah. <laughs> and I, okay. I learned that from watching a uh, a hot video. Okay. And I, and when they showed him and told me, and yeah, they spoke about uh, that this was the original design for Yamada mm. Hut species. I was. Yeah, I, I did not expect uh, uh, that at all. <laughs> uh, he is basically a smaller, more vo mobile uh, version of uh, Jabba. Uh, barely mobile. <laughs> yeah, barely. <laughs> we saw uh, how exhausted he was after uh, uh, a short job or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, but yeah, I, I kind of do kind of like that. And the Lasat is the same, like, the Lasat design was the original design ID for the Wookiees. Okay. They're always nice when just old, unused designs uh, like that can be reused for something different. Indeed. Okay. A few so, more. Again, when they made the the, 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 the bookies, they did end up uh, having a bit of a legal problem with uh, the writer of Game of Thrones. Okay. Oh, hello. So he was already a writer back then, and he, when he spoke, he had a already released a book with a very long haired Bigfoot with crossbows. I think you can see the issue there. Yeah. Lucky. But that one did not become a court problem, apparently, luckily enough. However, one that did they have, did have to settle out of court was the uh, Yavas. No. Apparently, there, there was a musical or something that had something that looked like Yavas. I forgot its name. I think it's uh, not well known to begin with. Okay. But they had uh, something to look at Yavas and they threatened to sue uh, Star Wars because of it. But they are set up outside of court. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. They, they, they ha Star Wars has been extremely successful. But it did have some... Uh, it did have had its uh, struggles as well. Yeah. Okay. One last pressurized bit. Probably better if we blast that from the outsides. Yeah. Or actually, actually can we? Talk about yes. We... I learned something else about the Yavas. No. You know those yellow and red eyes they have? Yeah. Those are not their eyes. Uh, goggles. Ooh, hello. Yes, they have crystal goggles, and they wear masks. Okay. This is why you never see you only see the eyes. This is actually not the eyes, just the goggles. They have a mask on, so you can't see the faces. And the mask is on there to protect them from a desert. Yeah, everything Tatooine, basically. Indeed. <clears throat> uh. All right. There. Okay. Now, we can really start working on tearing this thing apart now. I'll just take care of this bit, and then we'll head for the reactor. Just in case any more shenaniganery might set that off. 
In there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. If you are going to do these longer streams on Sunday more, may maybe uh, I should split the stream some uh, some time. That's uh, after like an hour or two of one, we move on to a different game for an hour. Yes, like as like we said, just four hours of this would be too much. Yeah, like. Again, I think I said, yeah, I said earlier, Hotsam surprisingly worked well for four hour stream. Again, probably do for me did it in the afternoon, bottom yeah. enough. But this... Lucky catch. Yeah. Like, if you have other games after this, we will probably have some other games after this game. Yeah, we still have plenty ready, like Sang Freud's. Uh, it wasn't. What was it called? St Strange Horticulture. Yeah. Um, we, we may have stream other games that all work better for for our streams. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, then again, <clears throat> Strange Horticulture isn't really that long of a game, so I think we'd probably get like two or three long streams out of that. This is not that bad. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I can definitely hear the table getting set because I can hear the plates clacking around. <laughs> uh, yeah. Either that says something about how loud that is being or how good my hearing is because I. It's not like I have just those ear covering headphones on, but I'm still primarily hearing like the game and such, and still I can hear something like that off in the distance. Yeah, my, I have headphones that are covering my ears, but I don't think they are they're good sound quality, but I think they are designed to not be sound isolated. For, I think I said this more, long ago. Like, there is a place where having a complete sound isolation for your headphones is probably good for probably some construction sites. Yeah. But when you try to commercialize it for earphone, something you, when you go to listen to music, when you go take a walk and all that, that's when I say bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, because or, people already get, and there's already enough accidents every time for people not paying attention and such. Yeah, and when so, I think we all can agree. When you can't hear someone t shout for you, watch out, or anything like that, because your headphones or ear uh, earplugs are that sound isolating. Yeah. Something will happen. And with my headphones here, I feel like it amplifies some sound. Like I can still hear music well, but if someone is calling me, I may not be able to hear them word for word, but I will be able to. Uh, but it will have amplified it to be really louder. Then without my headphones to identify someone is calling me. Okay. This is be more of a curious. brain trick than the... Since it's coming from a different source than what you're actively listening to, that it feels louder. Yeah. Is this a kind of good, I say, for... Again, that means I can hear someone if someone is calling me. Just again. It sounds louder. When I have them on me, when someone calls me, just going to hear what they are saying without taking my uh, headphones off and walking mm. over to listen. <laughs> so, some will say it's a bad sign, but I would say kind of good design. If you think about it. Yeah, I, I think that's probably still more like a trick of the brain because it's coming from an unexpected source. Yeah, yes. but I, it's not only for call for it's for many sounds. I notice that it does that. Okay. But again, it, in hmm. a way, I see it as a good way for that does make me... Like, if, if someone is calling me, or if the phone is ringing, or something like that, I will be able to hear it. Let me just cut it's, all it's of a, this This is a kind of good thing. Yeah. Do it again. Okay. I, 
I'm only using my headphones for streams or when we watch the series together. Yeah. But actually, there's only one game I use my headphones on. Yeah. Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, because just good music. Uh, actually, that too, but you'd be surprised by this. Like, I use the speakers on my monitor, and they've been working great for all games, except for Stardew Valley. Okay. For some reason, even when I have Stardew Valley on max volume, I can barely hear it. Hmm. Did you but check the only... volume settings uh, on the com computer? It's not that I had already checked. For it works well for all other games. It's only Stardew Valley that does that. But when uh, I put I... on my headphones, I meant the uh, I meant the volume uh, mixer because uh, that can set different audio levels for different games or just completely mute them. So it could just be that somehow. It just got muted for you with that. Yeah, I still hear the music. I can still hear it. It's just low. Yeah, but it can set it. It can turn the volume on specific programs a lot lower. Like I, when I run Genshin Impact on my computer, I have the volume set to fifty percent through that automatically because it can. It does tend to be a bit loud for some reason. Oh, yeah, then definitely just stop so you value for. Maudio mixes is a 100%. Okay. Yeah, always good to check every possibility. Yeah. But I'm fine with that since it's, that's the only game I use the headphones on, basically, then. Okay. This is, this is fine. I should be able to drag this entire thing out. Hmm. Wait. Well, I just remembered. All the times I have used my headphones is also when we, you and me, have been playing multiplayer off stream. Okay. One f little beam here that I missed. Beam? There we go. Okay. But yeah. Actually, yeah. All the times I was using headphones is when I play multiplayer with Helion off stream or multiplayer with uh, other friends. Probably just to... Yes, Maybe we don't have, can... like, uh, you know, before I got my headphones. Where uh, you could hear the speakers from the monitor go into the mic. There we go. Oh dear, mm. it's like a boom. No. <laughs> There, there. Okay. I hope I expect that to actually go boom for me to just say I told you so. Okay, keep pulling this thing out. Yeah, I don't want to risk any of this getting close to any of those. Though, of course, I probably would have been safe, yeah, just as safe, probably, or even safer to just pull the entire system down towards the barge, but oh well. Okay. Just pluck these out where possible. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's hooked through something. Hmm. Actually, could I? No, I, I think it's. I think it's locked in with the. Yeah, the corners here are overlapping a bit. Yep, so I can't pull it out like that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I did not like the light reflecting off of that. <laughs> There. I can understand that. There. And then the last one. Oh, it's still attached there still. Okay. Okay, away from 
the big boom. And there. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. This needs to be pulled aside still. Because it can't fit through. Uh, let's see. Pull you that way. Hmm. Not sure why they are st the tethers are struggling so much with that. There's nothing really in the way, and it's not too heavy, or shouldn't be too heavy. Okay, you're coming apart, or not apart, coming through on your own. Okay. Away with you. And away with you. Yeah, that's a whole lot less uh, hassle than trying to just finagle the whole thing out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's toss the world's worst Rubik's Cube into the furnace. What? And the rest of you go there. Yeah, since since the since the halves sort of look like cubes. Are you stretching it at the moment? Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Okay. There. Okay. And there. Okay. Now, I said I would get here next, but, well, we're here now with it. So, time to get to the reactor. Okay, that separates the rest of the hull from the inside. Okay. No need for this anymore. Bye-bye. Okay. Now, this thing is as good as ready. Just need to, well, get rid of all of the obstacles to the outside. There and there. There. Okay. There. That's almost all of them. <laughs> okay, don't need to Ooh, not yeah. forget about the airlocks. All right, also what? Something uh, Himian mentioned the other day. No. That Fridays may become streamable? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, because we typically, because we uh, generally eat so late on Fridays, it's now be uh, decided that we'll try just having dinner before the whole swimming thing. At so, the location, yeah. you're not swimming on Friday, correct? No, I just keep the attendance for the group. Yeah, that means means he can uh, eat before doing it again. The thought of uh, not eat not eating before swimming is a myth. The body will not shut down if you <laughs> eat a ship. Uh, uh, no, it's more like... I think it's more like you could get more easily nauseous from swimming with a, f entire, with a completely full stomach. Swimming on an empty stomach is also just as bad. Yeah, like, it's fine to eat something before swimming, but many people have gone to believe that if, you eat, you, if you're eating something, then go swimming, you'll be drowned? Uh, For something about they think that when your be, be, the stomach is digesting food, you cannot focus on swimming? 
<laughs> Don't, not sure how your food, your stomach is related to swimming, seeing as it's a muscle thing. Yeah, when I heard that, I feel like, what? And look, 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 that was a video dispelling that myth and other myths. It just completely explained that that's not how the body works. Yeah. You can't still swim after you had a small burger or something. Probably good yeah. to not swim where you uh, have uh, overstuffed. Yeah, like because then you're just going to make yourself nauseous. Yeah, that's when you're sluggish. But if you just eat a normal meal, you can swim just fine. The body can handle that yes, yes food while you're swimming. It doesn't... It, yeah, they even poke holy it in some time that if that if that thing was true, that would mean whenever we eat, have eaten anything, we would not be able to move at all. Yeah. And guess what? We're still able to move after all. all. Otherwise, not heck, imagine, imagine school dining halls. <laughs> There's a and reason that a good amount of swimming pools also have like little bars in them and such. Yeah. Or adjacent. Well, yeah. Just imagine if that was if that someone if that was true, then uh, yeah, they would have to eat and stay in the dining hall for one hour. Not pretty practical, is it? Yeah. Okay. Are you, what are you stuck on? Nothing anymore. Okay. Then we basically uh, yeah. just have the reactor all on its own. Oh dear. Okay. You... Oh uh, yeah, okay. I was actually very surprised when I heard uh, the detail of it. I always heard, and especially new movies I got to, to say, do swim on, uh, uh, until one hour after you, eaten food, you have eaten food. But never this explain in detail, except when, uh, for example, Johnny Bro, he he ate an ice cream, went to swimming, and drowned because his body his body just shut down. <laughs> okay, the fact on that Johnny Bravo tells enough that it's supposed to be a joke. Yeah, I just feel like no, they're mm. pushing it, but apparently, many people believe that's what happens. And now for a YouTuber to dispel, just make a video to dispel that and along the money all the stupid myths that that's not how it works. Movies and cartoons have exaggerated so much that people think that's what happens. Yeah. When the whole thing about cartoons is that they specifically exaggerate stuff. Yeah. Or comedic so effects. I'm like, so I'm kind of glad to see that explain what people, what the, the myths claimed medical reason was, and when I had this, had I heard that detail described in the cartoons in detail, I would just call bullshit on it right away. Mm. Low on fuel. There. Okay. Let's move back. To silence that alert. And just <laughs> tars on our way over. Uh, let's see. Nope, oh, about to hit three hours. Okay. There. Let's shut up, you. May as well patch up the suit a bit. And yeah, looks like next week we'll be continuing with this thing then. We're still keeping a good uh, amount of speeds or momentum with this, just going through the ranks and thus through the, uh, what, well, getting access to the story bits, I think slash hope. Yeah, but so far I do feel like, I do, I really do feel like three hours of this does feel like they are doing better progress. Come back here, you. Yes, again, four hours is a little bit much of this. Yeah. But three? Just enough to feel like progress. Hmm. For, we, we almost finished 
three ships uh, today or so? More, probably even? Yeah, one of them was just a small ship. Then we finished off another one. Uh, uh, that was a stupid. Th those go down there, not in the processor. Oh dear. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel like the story has slowed down a lot, though it might just be building tension. Yeah. Okay. Still unsure how we're supposed to get these Wait. off of each other. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, no, the, the arrow bridge is worth a lot more than the panels. Yeah, but I didn't know it was a two, it was different uh, there. I thought, wait, is he about to throw the wrong thing into the... Again. Yeah. Uh... Okay, I will show you if you actually did... Uh, okay, I think you actually did go into a loss there. Or actually, no. it, it balanced, it, it, it knowledge out and out, I think. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. The arrow bridge, yeah, it's half a mil on its own. And the up plates were like, uh, were only five, uh, five figure numbers. So yeah, much more valuable to throw it into the furnace. Uh, all right. No. Let's see if anyone's going to pop up over the comms here. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report... <laughs> Only 16... 160,000 cost now. To whatever... Okay. What? what are you talking about? Uh, let's see. Baileys, Salvage, Habrand, Utilities... Okay, and just the interest on top of it, of course. Uh, it's it's typically through interest that uh, <clears throat> uh, that that's depth traps uh, try to uh, keep you in by just uh, by the way it typically goes with loan sharks and such or loan shark companies or at least in America is that you have to pay away the built up interest before you can uh, pay away at the actual uh, amount that you loaned so say you have uh, for example you borrow 20 bucks from someone and it's 50 percent interest each week then after two weeks you would need and you would pay 20 you would get 20 to pay off your debt you would just get rid of the interest and they would still count the well interest on top of the original built up uh, original amount so next week you would uh, you would get another ten dollars of debt and and so oh, on and so on yeah, there really should be something in the laws that with, uh, when paying off loans, it should go to the initial amount first. And once that is away, then is when interest should be uh, getting paid off. Jack me up. Reach a velocity of at least 20 meters per second. Okay. Now, any calls? No calls. Okay, yeah, this, this is starting to yeah, not really bore me, but it is yeah, it does have me feel that there's something is going you know, something's off with just no chatter during this anymore. We're so little. We only had Weaver call us once, I think. Yeah, we had others call us here a few rare times. More yeah, common in the beginning, then it became yes. less and less. Yeah, it's and meant in this act since we got to the ah. third act. It's only Weaver called once. Okay, that that I will <clears throat> agree with. Is actually, I think that is indeed true. Okay, but before we end the stream, we are of course going to look for someone to raid. So let me take a look. Okay, not too many people online. So let me move over the screen share, change windows, Twitch live. Let's see, we have Dr. Misunderstood, who is playing Final Fantasy X. Black Shadow, who is playing Pacific Drive. Moonrise, playing Jackbox Party Packs. Isai Razier is having a special event, uh, playing a perfectly normal game of Resident Evil 2. Press X to doubt. Yeah, I'm guessing they're playing modded Resident Evil 2. Modern or old school? Modern, okay. Then we have Chubbers the Moon Seal with Elden Ring. 
theory pop playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Hmm. I'm unsure if I would stream, like, those old Zelda games. There are some Zelda games that I would be interested in streaming, like, say, uh, well, I've already said Wind Waker and its two uh, <clears throat> DS sequels. Uh, though also some of the others, like Twilight Princess and such, um, just would just need to find functional emulators and ROMs for them. Uh, yeah, maybe at some point we'd also go back to the old, old ones, or just go with the, uh, actually the handheld ones, uh, the remakes are for the 3DS, and that is a bit too early to go for emulation or such, and I don't know if I could even get my hands on some sort of capture card for those, so, hmm, maybe the old school ones then. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, moving on, we have WBPL who is also playing Pacific Drive. Hena is hell diving with Hell Divers 2, and Horatius the Dwarf is holding their psychology open house. <clears throat> oh dear. Any of those of interest, or shall I take a look at recommended or pick myself? Uh, I'll let you pick. Uh, I'm a bit unsure. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, there's a recommended channel called Profound Badness playing a game called Pecker. Okay. Okay. And of course, an ad has to ruin things. Hmm. Okay, some sort of platformer from the looks of it. Uh, let's go give them a visit. So, copy name. Then we go to our place. And there, yeah, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Pizza. Thank you, any lurkers. Let's see. Uh, okay, I see two lurkers. Sensei and Tato. <laughs> Hope Hello. you two enjoy it. And thank you, as always, Drake here. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, no more second streams on the weekend, at least for now. So, yeah. Tomorrow, maybe something multiplayer. Let's we'll see if we can make it three in a row with uh, Liz and uh, Ram with Borderlands. Or was was it twice in a row last time? Or actually, yeah, yeah. it okay. would be three times in a row if we able to do it tomorrow as well. Okay, let's see if we can make it a hat trick then. And of course, we'll be continuing with uh, Jedi Knight Two Jedi Outcast on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll have to triple check the emulator that I use for the well for the Sonic games that we'll be doing, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Rush, or not Sonic Ad Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure. Uh, <laughs> almost, we already did Sonic Adventure. Oh dear. Hmm. But yeah, that'll be for tomorrow. So for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, if you see a howl, throw them out an airlock. <laughs>